There's a royal first this morning. George, Charlotte and Louis have made their first social media post. They might have had a little bit of help. Uh, royal editor Russell Myers is here. It's a beautiful photograph. It Just is. It's beautiful. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, Absolutely very much so. I mean, you know, royal first for the, for the Wales children. They're taken on the beaches of Norfolk. A little bit blustery to perhaps over yeah. the last few days, but nice um, you know, uh, Father's Day is obviously celebrated uh, all around the UK yesterday, and um, and I think this would sort of summed up the family very very yeah. much together. It's been a pretty tumultuous time of, oh, because of uh, half. you know Princess of Wales' cancer diagnosis. Of course, we heard from her over the last few days did as she well. Take this one? She did take did this she? photograph, yeah, and uh, and, I, and I like this because you know remember sort of the hoo ha over oh, Photoshop and all that, and people were a bit worried about whether she'd get behind the camera. Again. Again, but uh, I'm glad she's been taking this photo. So, yeah, yeah nice one. Nice no, one. it's it's really beautiful. And um, also, uh, the Prince of Wales, William, he posted a really nice old a throwback and photo. Very much, one from the dad. vaults. Yeah, look yeah. at this. I mean, this is so an cute. absolutely gorgeous image because uh, um, it's taken in June 1984, just a few days before Prince William's second birthday. Uh, King Charles looking very normal, uh, playing football <laughs> in a double-breasted <laughs> suit. suit. I it's don't. what I do with my kids, you know. You know. <laughs> we my, all do that. My don't polished we? <laughs> up loafers, you know, slowly toe poking the ball. But yeah, a nice one from the vaults. A little bit telling that Prince Harry wasn't involved in it, but it's a, it's a oh, personal picture. Gosh, yeah, from, I didn't even think about yeah, that. Yeah, from be honest. Prince William. But, but uh, yeah, a ni nice day celebrated for all yesterday. Very much so. And as you said, great to see uh, Princess Catherine out and about and looking, I have to say, absolutely beautiful. For sure. She I looked mean, well, which is, I know she's not well. Yeah. But she did look really stunning. Well, you know, some of the, you know, the headline writers talk about trooping the colour. There was definitely a couple of troopers <laughs> alongside the uh, all, all the troops on um, Saturday. I mean, the king obviously undergoing his cancer treatment. Of Kate coming back into the fray. A surprise appearance. You know, we were, will she be there? Won't she yeah. be there? But she, um, you know, she, you know, she did it for the kids. I mean, the mm. children had a pretty central role in trooping the colour. They did. Um, very interestingly, that the palace have spoken about the fact that this is a long recovery for the Princess of Wales. Yeah. She won't be rushing back to duties. She needs to limit her future appearance, and uh, and very much, you know, wanted to be there for the king, who I'm told was absolutely delighted that she was that there. She was there. And, why, and why wouldn't he be? Of course. I know. I have to say, looking at it, a lot of people have compared it, and it was the first thing that struck me. Um, my fair lady. I no. Audrey Hepburn yes. in My Fair Lady. Look at look, look at, at that. It was I mean, Audrey's hat was slightly bigger but, yeah. <laughs> than the Princess of Wales. But um yeah, really and also she recycled it. She did. She's yeah. worn that before. I like this, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, pulling it out the back of the wardrobe. It's uh very nice little outfit. Um, I liked the, the pictures of her next to Charles. I mean, there's absolutely some family unity going mm. on, of course. You know, there's been going on um, some from real testing times for, for both of them. We know that they were popping down the, the hospital corridor, seeing each other when that's they were both straight. in the same Gosh, hospital in straight. January. Then, of course, a few weeks later, they both had their cancer diagnosis within days of each other. So, listen, all of our best wishes are, uh, are going towards them. Oh, it's going to be a pretty, course. pretty testing time. And there was time beautiful for both photos of her and William as well. It it was yeah. just almost as if he was just checking in with her. He was just checking in to say, are you OK? Yeah. You know, there's a lot of that you could see because he's obviously incredibly protective. Yeah, I mean, you look at, these, look at these images of King and the, uh, the King and Kate as well. Very loving moments between the Wales family. But there's a real closeness. You know, any people I speak to say, how are they doing? And they say, yeah. well, they're, pretty, they're supporting each other. And that, sure. you know, there's a lot of love there for uh, father-in-law and daughter-in-law. Yeah, for it was sure. just good to see him. I thought, I thought Charles looked a wee bitty frail, if I'm honest. Um, Kate looked gorgeous, but she's tiny. Yeah. She's never, well, she's Listen, always I'm, been tiny. I think that, she's, um, she's very, very much well. so. You talk about the, this historic moment, mm. very much so. We didn't know a few days ago whether uh, Princess of Wales are there. You talk about the, the last few weeks, whether the king was actually going to be yeah. there. I mean, he's 75. He's going through this cancer treatment. It's going to... Anybody who's had family members or friends who have had cancer treatment will know it does take the stuffing out of you and you need the support and love of all your family around you. And I think that's certainly... The mood music is coming sure. from the palace. That uh, They need to have a bit of normality and uh, and certainly this is uh, this is helping them along their way. No, of course it is. I mean, Dr Amir's with us. And Amir, you know, I know she's a, she's a princess and obviously getting the best possible treatment. You know, she's been very protected all of that but she's still having to go through cancer treatment and it is it's tough we know that yeah that's right whoever you are whatever treatment you're having for cancer it is grueling and she has said in a statement that she's taking one day at a time and she's learning 
patience when it comes to this treatment. And I think that will resonate with lots of people who are undergoing cancer treatment. Certainly lots of my patients tell me that every day is different when, they, when they're undergoing treatment, that one day they can feel fine and then the other day rotten, particularly if they're having chemotherapy, that they're tired all the time. And to know that the princess is going through it because cancer treatment can be really isolating. Even if you're surrounded by people who are supporting you, unless you've been through it yourself, you don't fully understand. And they often talk about this fear, this fear of the cancer coming back, that every symptom that they have, even after treatment, and they've been given the all clear, every symptom they think might be the cancer coming back. So I think having someone like Kate talk about what she's going through through her statements and being vulnerable like in a way that we don't really see the royal family be vulnerable, I think will resonate with people. And I think it's really important to see the royal family like people like you and I. No, that's true, because she did say, didn't she, Russell, that um, good days and bad days. Yeah, certainly. I mean, I'd love to read you a bit of this statement, actually, yeah. because it's very, very moving. And, of course, she says, uh, you know, on those bad days you feel weak, tired, you have to give in to your body resting, but on the good days when you feel stronger, you want to make the most of feeling well. Then she goes on to talk about her treatment ongoing. And then, you know, there's a bit of positivity because she's, she is going back to work. She is trying to do sort of baby steps. And uh, we may see her over the summer doing a couple of engagements, yeah. but very much a case of rest and recuperation and taking it slowly. If she feels up to For it. Sure. That's the main thing. Sure. Amir, thank you. We're going to talk to you uh, lots more later on. Um, also, the birthday honours yes. list, the King's birthday honours list, and somebody very close to us. Very and we close. are. Thrilled well. to bits. Absolutely. Our very own Amy Dowden, MBE for services to it's fundraising. Wonderful. We absolutely know how amazing she's been at raising awareness of uh, inflammatory bowel disease. Her fellow Strictly star, Rose Lang Ellis, also an MBE winner of the 2021 uh, series. Girl. And post office campaigner, Alan Bates, Sir Alan Bates, yes. to you and I now, <laughs> uh, knighted for services to justice. All absolutely worthy recipients. Oh, completely. All incredibly well deserved. That's fantastic. I'm so glad about that. Um, thank you, Russell. Lovely Talk to, see you. to you later. Thank you very much indeed.